Hi, everybody. Today for our math program, we are going to be measuring this drawing paper in non-standard types of measurement. What I did was I went around the house and I collected big items, little items, medium-sized items that I'm going to use to measure this paper with. I'm first going to start with post-it notes. When you measure, you need to remember to hold it right at the edge of the item that you're measuring, making sure that things touch right at the edge. So I'm not putting it all the way here. I'm making sure that it touches. So, so far I have one, two, three, to measure across this paper, it took four post-it notes to go across this paper. Now I'm going to take another thing that I found in the house, my Duplo block. This Duplo block is much smaller than my post-it note. So am I going to need more or less Duplo blocks to measure across this paper? Let's try it. I'm going to put my fingers so we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It took nine Duplo blocks to go across this paper. Is nine more or less than four? Yes, nine is more than four. When you have something smaller than what you started with, it should take more to go across the same item to measure. Let's try the crayon. The crayon is a little bit bigger than my post-it note. Do you think it's going to take more or less crayons going across the paper to measure compared to the four post-it notes? Let's try it. Remember, you put it at the end. I'm going to count one, two, three, and it took a little bit more than three crayons to go across the, pa the paper. Is three more or less than four? Three is smaller than four. So I'm going to put it over here. Now I'm going to take that toothbrush that we've been using in all the toothbrush that we've been using in all the different experiments so far. Remember, this is not a toothbrush that I use in my house. Okay, so the toothbrush is much bigger than the post-it note. Do you think it's going to take more or less toothbrushes to measure across the paper? Let's try it. I'm going to put it at the end. I have one and a half toothbrushes. Is one and a half more or less than four? It is less. Now I'm going to take our counting cube. The counting cube is much smaller than our post-it note. Do you think it's going to take more or less counting cubes to measure across this paper. Let's try it. I put it at the end and I use my finger to show where I have to keep on moving it. So it's going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15 counting cubes to go across this paper. Is 15 more or less than four? It is much more, that's a big number. Okay, now I'm going to take these sunglasses. The sunglasses are bigger than the post-it note. Do you think it's going to take more or less sunglasses to measure across this paper with a non-standard type of measurement. Let's try it. I put it at the end and I keep my finger at the edge. One, two, and a little bit more. So is two 
more or less than four? It is less. Good. So now I'm going to take my playing card. My playing card is a little bit bigger than the post-it note. Do you think it's going to take more or less playing cards to go across the paper? Let's try it. One, two, three, and a half. So is three and a half more or less than four? It is less. Now I'm going to take this box of staples. The box of staples is bigger than our post-it note. Is it going to take more or less to go across the paper when something is bigger? Let's try it. One, two, three, almost three. So is three more or less than four? It is less. Every time we have something that's bigger, it doesn't take as many of them to go across the same space to measure. When something is smaller, you need more of them. Just like when you're filling up a bowl of cereal, if you, a bowl for cereal. If you have little pieces of cereal, it takes a lot. If you have big pom-poms, it would take less of them to fill up that same bowl. Let's continue our experiment. I have this little dinosaur the dinosaur is smaller than our post-it note. Do you think it's going to take more or less dinosaurs to go across the paper? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, and his tail. Five and his tail is five and his tail more or less than four. It is more. So now I'm going to take the paintbrush. The paintbrush is much bigger than the post-it note. Do you think it's going to take more or less paintbrushes to measure this paper? Let's try. One paintbrush and not even a full paintbrush, about one and a half. So is one and a half more or less than four? It is less. It took less paintbrushes than post-it notes to go across the paper. Now I have the bigger Dupla block, but it's still smaller than the post-it note. Is it going to take more or less to go across the paper then the post-it notes. Let's try it. One, two, three, four and a half. Almost five. It took five, five um, Dupla blocks to go across the paper compared to the four post-it notes. Is five more or less than four? It is more. Now we have this little screw. I'm gonna hold it on the, on the post-it note. You can see it's much smaller. Do you think it's going to take more or less when something is smaller? Let's try it. Always hold it on the end and put your finger where the other end stops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It took eleven screws to go across this paper. Is eleven more or less than four? It is more. Okay, now I have my pen. My pen is much bigger than the post-it note. Let's measure how many pens go across the paper? Do you think it's going to be more or less? Let's try it. One, two, and a little, little, little bit. So is two 
more or less than four. It is less. When something is bigger, it takes less to measure the same space. Now I have two paper clips. One is bigger than the other. We're going to start by measuring the big one. The big one is still smaller than my post-it notes. Let's see how many paper clips go across the paper. Do you think it's going to be more or less than the post-it notes? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Six and a half of the big paper clips go across the paper. So is that more or less than four? Six and a half is more than four. But I wonder if the smaller one will be more or less than the bigger one. Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It took ten of the small paper clips to go across the paper. Is ten more or less than six or four? It is more than six or four. So the smallest one was more to go across. Now I have two safety pins. One is itty bitty and one is bigger, but they're both smaller than the post-it note. Let's try the big paper cup safety pin first. Do you think it's gonna be more or less than the post-it notes? Let's try. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Eight and a little bit more. Do you think eight is more or less than four? Yes, it is more than four. But what about this little itty bitty safety pin? Is that going to take more than the bigger safety pin? Let's try. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It took fifteen of these little safety pins to go across the paper. Is fifteen more or less than four? It is more. And is it more or less than eight? Yes, it is more than eight. The last one is money. I am going to be putting a quarter across the paper. And then I'm going to be putting a dime across the paper. You can see they are different sizes. Round things are a little harder to measure with, which is why we usually use straight things. But I know one of you used pennies to do measuring, so I thought that I would get some coins also. Do you think it's going to take more or less than four to go across this paper? Let's see. We have one quarter, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven quarters go across the paper. Is eleven more or less than four? It is more. What about the dime? The dime was smaller, so do you think something even smaller is going to do more or less to go across the paper? Let's try. It took 11 of the quarters. Let's see how many dimes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It took sixteen 
times to go across the paper. Is 16 more or less than 4? It is more. And is 16 more or less than 11? It is more. So if you have small things that you are using to measure with, then it takes more to go across that same space. As I said, the same thing would be if you took big blocks to fill up your bathtub, you would, not, you would need not as many, you would need less than if you took little cotton balls to put into your bathtub. You would need bags and bags and bags of cotton balls because they're tiny. But if you took your blocks, it would take less of them because they are bigger. We're going to keep on practicing these non-standard types of measurement as the weeks go by. See you later. Bye.